Oh, greetings, Earth. This is uh, James Colby Kiley <clears throat> slash Entropy Crisis, I guess. <clears throat> it's about time I embrace that, I suppose. I always like the moniker, though. Indeed. Originally, uh, this Tuesday, the idea was going to be the wayside. Like, oh, shit, we're going to get in it. We're going to go visit that strange place. But I don't know if we really can without the, the history of the salting. And, uh, <clears throat> and what it is and where... <clears throat> Not necessarily where it came from. I know exactly where that came from. That's not a fucking mystery. It, uh, in book one, um, this one, it, the beginning is all like rhyming, romantic, very structured poetry. I wanted a, a structure for that as well to, to kind of like put them all together, you know, make them, make them flow in a way. Something nice. And so I came up with this idea of um, taking all these different poems as if they were grains of salt and putting them in a cup of water and just like spinning that son of a bitch till they all dissolved and blended into each other and became a very unsatisfying drink, uh, I guess, at the end of the day. But that was the idea, like these things that were uh, inherently divided being joined together. And so... Uh, you know, because they were the salt, you needed you needed methods in the water. You know, the water was just a, a group of methods. And I think um, the first one is uh, something I, I kind of came up with is um, poetic rebuttal. And it's like um, poems that basically argue each other, that go completely against each other. Or in some sense, they you know, they just disagree. Maybe they don't have to duel to the death. Maybe they just like, oh. I agree to disagree with your ass. Who knows the lives of poems? Not me. And so that's, um, you know, part one is uh, the argument. I think it actually has a, has a title. A Mind's Divide, the Salting of a Mind is that. And it has two arguments and uh, different styles, uh, approaches. Um, the first one is like, these poems don't even have titles. They're just like jammed together and they interrupt each other mid sentence, mid stanza, <clears throat> stuff like that. It's just like two people who are mm, terrible at arguing or in a very heated battle. And then argument two is very structured. They uh, take turns. And that is the the first part of the salting, the first method of the, the water, the way to to blend all this together, all these separate poems. And then um, the next one was uh, the salting uh, transition to love is the next aspect. And like I said, I was definitely like super romantic back then. Maybe you'll see that reflected. I still am a little romantic, I guess. Um, and in the in this one, it uh, it follows a uh, a V curve like um, love up here, and then it goes down to where like oh no love, and then back up again like the rebuilding of that, but also like maybe the wisdom gained right here, and then like the the death of infatuation versus the building of like the understanding of what real love is, um, and that's kind of how that goes. And then I believe, you know, that's the second method. Oh, yeah, and this one's, like, kind of goofy. I drank a lot of green tea back then. So uh, the salting of life's revelations in a cup of tea. And uh, every one of these uh, poems, like, no matter if they agree, disagree, or whatever, has a, uh, a haiku to go with them. And, uh, very strange, like, you know, it's like, each one of them is like a goofy little two-part poem. Some of these haikus read just like fortune cookies, I don't know, I don't know, like I said, this is like seven years, seven, eight years ago. Uh, not really, not really sure how that, how that all came about, but it seemed like a good method at the time for the salting, and hell, it's a liquid tea, that is. And, uh, 
so that's where it came from, and it came nicely bundled in a uh, a nice, you know, like a, a cup, if you will. You have to have a cup to put this all in. So you got your introduction, and then you got your conclusion, and that uh, that fills it. You know, then you put your your water in with your uh, your methods, the three methods that we went over, and then the salt, which is the poems, and you just stir the son of a bitch up, and you get this amalgamation, this drink. And so I think that pretty much covers the salting uh, for the intro, and I guess that leads us into recording of some excerpts from it, just to explore it, revisit, introduce those who haven't heard of it or had this discussed, because I don't think I've actually told anyone in like five years about this. <laughs> All right, well, that's that. I'll see you guys on the flippity flop in a bit.